In a rollover accident, the vehicle rolls completely over, oftentimes more than once. Making up only 3% of nationwide vehicle accidents does not make them any less deadly however. 23% of fatal car accidents involve a rollover. They are not very common but when they occur, they can be with the most devastating of results. Rollovers are almost always deadly. It takes a great amount of force to cause a vehicle to roll over. It is this very strength and force that makes rollover crashes so dangerous. There is a misconception that only large vehicles like SUVs, buses, and vans are at risk for rollover. However, all vehicles can roll over for any number of reasons. While many rollover accidents occur because of negligent driving, many do not. Road conditions, weather, and even the vehicle itself can all play a role in a rollover accident. While all cars and trucks can roll over, certain vehicle design elements can attribute even more to a rollover. Tall, narrow vehicles with a high center of gravity are more likely to roll over than smaller cars and trucks. Unkempt and badly maintained roads also have a strong possibility of causing rollover accidents. Potholes in the road and other obstructions can cause cars and trucks to go off-road and flip. Sadly, many rollover accidents are caused by driver negligence. Speeding, reckless driving, and distracted driving can all cause fatal rollover accidents. When a person is harmed in a rollover accident due to someone else's negligence, they are eligible to receive compensation for their damages. Driving negligent makes you responsible for any accident that occurs as a result. Negligent driving that can cause a rollover can be anything from speeding and reckless driving to driving distracted, intoxication, and irresponsibility. Even if the rollover occurred as a result of an accidental action, the negligent driver may still be responsible. Speed is one of the biggest negligent driving issues that can cause rollovers. At least 75% of fatal rollovers are due to speeding in excess of 55 miles per hour. In order for a victim of a rollover crash to be eligible for compensation for their damages, they must be able to prove where and by who the negligence occurred. This can be accomplished by use of police reports, insurance investigations, witness reports, and photographs of the accident scene and damages. Circumstantial and or indirect evidence can also be helpful. This is especially true if the indirect evidence points to alcohol use while driving. Rollover accidents can be devastating if not deadly and leave the victims with lifelong injuries and health problems, many of which become financially devastating. Searching for a cash settlement becomes a necessity for survival. Because of the devastating issues these accidents cause, trials are often confusing and highly technical. It is imperative to fully educate yourself before beginning legal proceedings to succeed in these cases.